Hey, what's up all my freaks and geeks out there in YouTube land? Emgo here, and today it's Morphin Time, because today we will be reviewing the 2010 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers reissue Megazord. So let's head to the table and check them out. So here we are, and there they are. Now, I have to say that um, the Power Rangers were a guilty pleasure when they were at the uh, the peak of their popularity. I was a fan. I didn't admit to too many people that I actually liked the Power Rangers. And um, back then I actually couldn't get a Megazord because, uh, mostly because I didn't have a job. So I didn't have money. And nobody would buy it for me, so. I was basically uh, up the creek without a paddle. I didn't have a choice. I had to go Megazordless and watch the other kids play with theirs. And I hated them. I hated them so much. But now, thanks to the reissue, I finally have one. And I uh, can't wait to show them to you. So here are the five Dinozords. Here you have the, uh, the blue Triceratops. It's a nice detail. Stickers that you have to apply yourself. The uh, yellow Sabertooth Tiger. Again, pretty nice detail. You got the black mastodon. Looking very nice. Then you have the pink pterodactyl, who isn't actually pink, it's more red. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> and then you have the red Tyrannosaurus Rex. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, pretty cool. Um, I, I believe the, the original releases had, you know, they had chrome horns and whatnot. And uh, they actually had rolling wheels here. They just have, they're just molded on. They don't actually roll. So that's pretty much where they saved money on the reissue. It cheaped out there, but what can you do? Now, one mode that they have besides this and the Megazord is they have a, uh, a tank mode kind of a, a battle mode so let's uh, let me show you how to do this, do you want to take the Tyrannosaurus you just want to flip his little arms up you want to collapse his legs in like so just bring them up you want to take the tail bring it up And uh, you want to take the Triceratops, all you have to do is just take the tail, flip it in. After you do that, you just take it, peg it in. And take the saber tooth Tiger. You just fold the legs in, bring these legs up, take the tail, bring it in. See the port there? Just plug it in. Like so. You basically want to take the T-Rex, you kind of want to angle him forward, like one click, like that. So now, you want to take the Mastodon, and you basically just want to decapitate him, so you just want to rip his head off, like that. You can take the head, pull out his little handle right here, little post, and you just plug it into the port right there, on the uh, T-Rex's chest, like that. Now you take the Mastodon's body, you basically just want to kind of raise these up. You want to extend these out. You want to split it, like so. Kind of, you know, fold it all the way out. And you see there are two bars right here. They're going to plug into these clips right here on the T-Rex's back. So you just take it, clip it in. And then you just clip it, clip the sides in, like so. Same thing, just a little bar here. Clips into the, this clip right here. Plug it in. Now you want to bring the arms up. Like so. And now you want to take the pterodactyl. The pterodactyl's feet are guns. So you just want to take them off. And you want to plug them in to the mastodon's feet. 
like so. And you want to take the pterodactyl, oh, you can bring this tail up and peg it in to the back there. And you basically just want to take the pterodactyl and just kind of, basically just kind of wedges in there between the two masts and our feet, like so. And there you have the dinosaurs in their battle tank mode. Which is not bad, you know, it's pretty cool. I don't I don't oppose. So, all that's left now is to transform this into the Megazord. So you want to take the guns off, you want to take the Mastodon head off, take the pterodactyl off. Everything else stays. So now you basically just want to straighten the legs out. Bring the uh, triceratops head up. Bring the saber tooth tiger head up along with the feet. And he will stand. And you just want to bring these arms down. Bring these panels up like that. You want to take the mastodon feet and rotate them. And that reveals the hands. Like so. And you want to come in here, you want to pull this panel down. And then you want to take your T-Rex head, bring it down. That reveals the Megazord head. Bring that back up. Pull out the little uh, head crest right there. Then you want to take the uh, pterodactyl. All you want to do is just fold the head in. Fold the wings in, and you just take it and you plug it into Megazord's chest, like so. And you can take these uh, these little guns here. You just plug them into the back of the Mastodon's feet for storage. Take the Mastodon head. Just use the post. Just plug it into the hand and he can use it as a shield. And of course, most, most importantly, he has his power sword, which is made of, you know, a soft plastic. But still, it's, it's, it's nice. Not bad detail. You just take it, plug it into his hand. And there it is. There's the Megazord in all its glory. Look at that. Very nice. And, uh, you know, he's he's pretty big. You know, he's he's pretty big for being such a, you know, for being a Power Ranger. I mean, he's pretty much, you know, he's, he's pretty much leader class size. Right here next to Optimus. So not bad. He's, he's, he's a big guy. He's a big husk of dino beef. So... Not a lot by ways of articulation, you know, the arms go up and down, the legs, you know, they move. There's no, uh, the knees don't bend in due to the transformation here of the uh, T-Rex feet. So basically the feet just pretty much stay static. You can rotate them like this, but, you know, pretty much you're just going to be in a static pose. You're not going to get too many uh, action poses out of this thing, but all in all, it's nice. Um... I've, I've always considered the Megazord to be kind of, you know, Voltron light, you know, he's the Diet Coke of Voltron, you know, he's the margarine of Voltron, you know, he's just, <laughs> but all in all, I'm, I'm really happy that I have him, and uh, got him at Target, he was only $20, people, $20, you can't beat that, that is a steal for a figure this nice, so, I, I definitely recommend them. You should pick them up if you see them. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the uh, 2010 reissue Megazord from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And this is Emgo, signing off.